y'all what's up my name is Sonali and today I'm gonna be filming a come to work with me video today I am videoing a styled shoot so basically what a styled shoot is and this is my first one so I may get it wrong but basically what my understanding is is that all these vendors like a baker or a florist or like even a boutique like for dresses they offer their services for free so that all these photographers can snap pics, all the videographers, well I think there's only one videographer, which is me, um, can snap videos. Once we have our content and when we post it, we'll tag all the vendors. So it's kind of like we're all promoting each other. So that's kind of my understanding of it. Um, I may be totally wrong, but photographers actually have to buy into this styled shoot. I'm not really sure the exact price because I'm actually doing uh, the videography for free but maybe it's just for photographers or maybe they didn't have a videographer so they decided that I didn't have to buy in but I'm trying really hard to get into the wedding industry and I feel like this could be a really great place to start I don't know if y'all know this but I do photography and videography on the side so I'm not really sure which one I want to do if it's photography that I want to do or videography um, but I am going to be testing out like both so I'm doing videography for this styled shoot which is a, not a real wedding it's a fake wedding pretty much and then on October 26th is my first wedding that I'm second shooting unless something else comes up but that is the first wedding that I'm second shooting for photography so I'll kind of get a taste of both even though the videography is not really a real wedding um, but in my heart I, f I feel like I'll like photography a little bit better um just because videography is it's a it's hard work and both of them are hard work but I think photography comes a little bit more naturally to me um and plus like a stabilizer really hurts my back that's like something so stupid to say after I get done with a really long video shoot I there was this one time that I started to have back spasms so I don't know if that's like my path since I'm like an old lady's body but yeah so that is what we're gonna be doing today um obviously I'll be videoing it so hopefully I'll have a lot of behind the scenes stuff to show you guys um and hopefully I'll get to meet other people in the Austin area that are creatives because I am really trying to network out here um and it's really hard because so I just graduated from UCF in Orlando and I was in Greek life and if you are in Greek life, you know that Greek life serves you with so many different connections. It's insane. And honestly, my senior year, my last semester, I was getting hired so much because of all my connections and how I built my name and my reputation um, and my career there. So it kind of sucks coming to a whole different state and starting over with your connections and just your, your career, um, especially because this career is based off referrals, based off connections. So it has been very tough for me to find clients. I actually just joined Thumbtack, which is a platform that allows photographers or painters or carpenters to find clients easily. So basically if you say like, I need an engagement shoot done on this date, like I'm looking for this price range and then I can see it and be like, okay, that's too low, I don't wanna do it. Or I can say that's perfect, that's what I charge. This is how it's gonna be and then basically from my end if they respond I get charged like a certain um, percentage I think of the quote that you quoted them so it's kind of annoying because most of the time like they'll reply being like oh like I would love to see more work or like what day are you available and then it just falls through and they don't actually hire you so you paid pretty much for nothing it's honestly kind of a gamble and I'm s kind of slowly stopping using that app just because I feel like it's, I don't know, it's kind of getting a little high on my budget, um, but I'm trying to find out other ways that I can advertise over here. I did majority graduation shoots at UCF and I love graduation shoots, so I'm trying to do that and like Greek life stuff, but I don't think that the Greek life here understands or like I don't know I don't think it's very important to their chapters to like have videos for bid day or like really nice photos for bid day I know that was like something really big at UCF or at least for my chapter we always knew we wanted a really good videographer and photographer so we always budgeted for that but there are some chapters that don't really care about that kind of stuff so 
that's kind of what I'm dealing with right now. But I am really excited for the shoot because it is literally my first kind of foot in the door for the wedding industry. It's currently 9.45 a.m. and I have to start driving at 11 because we have to be there by 12 and it's an hour away. So it's in Georgetown, I think, which I've never been there before. Right now I just edited a whole vlog, which makes me feel so like already accomplished for the day. And now I am editing some photos that I took a while back. Um, I'm just going to re-edit them and post them on my productions account because I realized I haven't been posting lately and I feel like I just need to like post at least every other day. But it's hard because, you know, since I'm not shooting things here in Austin, it's like content that's like irrelevant, not really irrelevant, but just content that I've taken so long ago and I just want new content. So it kind of sucks that I have to like reuse my content because I've already posted this shoot just not these pictures but if you guys want to and i would really appreciate if you did follow my productions page it's just sonali productions and i will have a link in the description box below so you guys can see my work my videos my photos and all that i'm gonna do minimal makeup just because i am meeting like different people and new people um and i want to make a good first impression so i'm going to be using this makeup forever hd stick it is the best for just like a fast makeup application so you don't have to spend hours just like blending in liquid foundation i feel like usually photographers and videographers wear black a lot but <laughs> i'm in austin texas where it's 100 degrees so i feel like that may not be the best choice and um i was looking on the styled shoot facebook page and she said like photographers and videographers can wear whatever so i might wear like jean shorts and like a tank top because i really like i'm not trying to sweat too much but that's definitely inevitable here in texas so. <laughs> my makeup is done i just have to put on some lip product but i'm gonna do something super natural just gonna curl my lashes once my mascara dries even though that's not the best but it's fine um and i think i have an hour so i think i need to eat before i'm gonna eat something light and then pack up all my stuff this is so exciting and i really hope i don't forget anything and i do need to clear out some sd cards so so much to do so little time i always think i'm so prepared but then it comes down to the last hour and i'm like frantic so it's okay it always happens all right guys turning my stabilizer on for the first time in so long uh, with my new camera i don't know if i told you this but i was on a canon and now i'm switched fully to sony and i actually did do video with sony because I had a Sony A5100, but I got the A7 III, which is very exciting. And the stabilizer is the Icon EC1 Beholder. Um, and I honestly really wish I had the money to get the Ronin S, I think it is. Um, because now that I have the Sony A7 III, it is a little bit heavier. And I want to use, like, heavier lenses on it. Um, so... You know, once I get a little bit more money, I will definitely trade this in for a stabilizer that can handle a little bit more weight. But for now, we'll just have to work with it. I think I'm going to be shooting all of the footage in with a 24mm 1.4 lens. This is a G Master lens. I've been looking at a lot of wedding videos and most of them are wide shots with like bokeh in the background so i think this lens would be perfect for that um i just got the 35 1.2 though i really wanted to use it but it is way too heavy for this uh stabilizer so unfortunately i couldn't but i wonder if i could like snap some photos because i would definitely use that lens if i can okay i think we got it stabilized enough i think we're good to go so this is my camera bag. It is a Manfrotto camera bag. And funny story, it was actually my dad's, but it was sitting in his closet and I saw it and I was like, Daddy, can I uh, can I take this? So he was like, yeah, sure, whatever. This is kind of my first time really using this backpack, but it definitely seems very sturdy 
and cushioned if anything like drops you know i think it'll be totally fine so just in case i thought i might as well bring both of my other lenses this one is the 50 1.4 and it is the zeiss lens and this one is the very very new sigma um 35 1.2 so like i said if i get a chance to shoot some photos then I'm definitely gonna switch to the 1.2 lens um so i'm gonna pack those i honestly haven't really gotten to know this backpack so there's so many pockets i like don't know how deep they go and stuff like that so shall be interesting by figuring it out so i ended up changing into just a black tank top just so i could be a little bit more uniform um but i am going to head over there it is actually a 45 minute drive i didn't need anything but i did pack a belvita the girl who kind of put this all together said that there would be snacks there so i'm not really worried i'm not hungry for some odd reason i'm like really not hungry so i just i don't know i thought i would just wait until i am um i got everything hopefully i didn't forget anything i'm a little nervous um and i brought my computer too because i don't know when we're gonna be able to get out of this shoot or like when it's gonna be done and i'm a little worried that we're gonna be done when it's traffic time you know like five um so in that case i might stay and just work at a starbucks in the area but like also i feel like i should come home and cook dinner so hopefully we'll get out a little bit earlier just so we don't have to sit in traffic but we shall see about that. I'm at the styled shoot. I'm so nervous and I'm gonna head inside and get to work. photography and right now we are at a style shoot that we are working together in hosting. So normally I host these style shoots for local photographers or photographers that are coming by from nearby cities so that they can create more content for their portfolios if they are just now looking into getting into wedding photography without that high pressure of experiencing an actual wedding in real life. And I know it could be frustrating the first time you ever experience that so Starting off with getting that feel for things while still having all the time that you need to be able to get those photos are what we try to achieve here at our, uh, our local style shoots. And the name of our style shoots is Wild Stag uh, Style Shoots. <laughs> it's pretty straightforward. Um, I usually hire Michaela. She's the only planner I tend to go to. So she's amazing. She really makes everything come to life. <laughs> and, um, normally these shoots can can have like stations and rotations and such but I try to keep mine a little bit more laxed um, more cozy for photographers to really get their one-on-one -on -one time with the models with the detail shots um, that way they don't feel rushed and everything else is just more of a, a casual atmosphere too and it's really nice for each photographer to be able to bring their own mood boards and they want to practice this shot, they want to get the lighting right so for their next actual wedding they can really nail it the first time and they're not having to make the bride and the groom miss the whole cocktail hour or take them away from the dinner. Um, so it's nice to kind of practice and you know tilt your head a little bit to the left, a little bit more, you know those kind of things until they get it just right. That and being a wedding photographer, there's a whole lot to it. And so getting that chance to, to be able to have that content on your portfolio when you're just starting out is amazing because yes, you have to have people skills to be a photographer. Yes, you need to know the mechanics and the, the techniques and such, but how, how are people going to hire you if you don't have that content? Mm -hmm. And so we try to give people that content so that they could use and they could also provide to vendors so that they can also 
have that for promotional use as yeah. well. So how to get involved with the style shoots, with my style shoots, is I have a Facebook group, which is probably the easiest way to join. It's public for anybody. Uh, I post all of our events there. I try to make sure that everybody gets the announcements. I post lists of everybody that's involved so that everyone can get the credit. Uh, normally, on average, I will list the tickets for photographers to join uh, as $50. It depends on the venue. If the venue is a little bit more pricey, the highest we have gone is $100. And all of those uh, ticket costs go straight to paying the vendors off, paying for the materials, paying for the florals and such. So it's really a great experience to meet other vendors because normally the vendors are real life wedding vendors that have their own business as well. And so giving that experience with uh, with the vendors, with other photographers. It's a really great way to network and everybody can stay in the group even if you only attended one shoot or if you attend every shoot. It's a really great place to just kind of have everyone together. So I just got home from this styled shoot. I had a really good time, like it was so much fun and I'm so happy that I finally got to shoot video content after so long, probably like three months or something as a gig. And so I'm gonna do a behind the scenes video and I'm gonna do an actual just like styled shoot video. You guys probably saw the behind the scenes, but wait till the end so you can see the whole video come to life. So I just wanted to kind of talk about my first time really quick. I honestly thought there were gonna be way more photographers um, like shoving each other and just not being super nice to each other. But everyone was really helpful and nice and there were only um, three photographers or four photographers I think. And so it wasn't bad at all. And like she said, there are a lot of other styled shoots that have like stations, which I didn't know about. And I feel like that would make me a little bit anxious, but that would be interesting to try out because it is a little bit more organized than today, but today was totally fine with me. It definitely started off slow because um, we were waiting for the models to get their makeup and hair done so we could start shooting. But when it started, it literally went by so fast. I thought it was gonna go on for a, a long time. I think it took like maybe an hour and a half or maybe an hour. I'm not really sure. We didn't do that many like locations with the bride and groom, which I thought there were definitely going to be more locations. Um, I don't know. These were just kind of like my assumptions, but every style shoot is pretty different. So I don't know if it's going to be the same for you. Overall, it was a really exciting day and I definitely see how it's a great networking opportunity. And that's what I was honestly looking for this whole time in Austin because I have to start somewhere, you know, like I have no connections here in Austin. I mean, like, yeah, I know a couple of people, but not that they're getting engaged anytime soon or not that they know people that are getting engaged. I think I'd definitely be open to doing another styled shoot, but I think I'll definitely pay attention to more of the details of the shoot. Um, this was kind of my first one, so I wanted to get into anything that I could really, but I definitely want to shoot at a location that's more of my vibe, you know, like super bright and white and airy and very like bohemian kind of thing. This was a fall themed shoot, so um, it wasn't super bohemian. It was obviously like darker colors, like a lot of like oranges and stuff like that. Um, so I think I'll definitely look out for one of those styled shoots and try to get my name in there. So that wraps up this video. Thanks for coming to work with me, even though it was for one day as a freelancer. Um, but if you guys are a photographer, videographer, or even just starting to get into it, let me know in the comments down below, like how long have you been doing it and what you shoot with, because I'm just so interested to see what people shoot with now because I switched from Canon to Sony very recently. So I'm just very intrigued by what cameras everyone shoots with um, and why. So comment that down below and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.